Let's make the Taito Arcade Classic Space Invaders in Unity. Welcome back everybody to a brand new Unity tutorial series where we're going to be defending Earth from intergalactic invaders. But before we do, you can download this project and follow along if you wish from the link in the description. And when everyone is ready, grab your ray guns, let's crack on. All right, so here we have our scene fully set up. We have our invaders all lined up and ready to go. We have our player here, the tank, and some shield generators to help make the defense of Earth that much easier. We're going to progress through this project on a need to know as we go basis. So first, let's start with our player movement. Here we have our player, which is the tank sprite. We have given it the tag of player and we've also put it on the player layer for our convenience. Attached to it is a box collider 2D, which is a trigger and a rigid body 2D where we have frozen the movement on the Y and frozen the rotation on Z. Once that is all set up, go ahead and create your player controller script, attach it to your player and open it up. So. For the variables, let's keep it nice and simple. We have a public float of move speed and a private float of move input. We also have a serialized float, min position and max position, because we're going to clamp the player's movement between those two values, which is going to help keep our player within the boundary of the game screen. We don't want the player to be able to move off screen. That's not going to help us out very much. So. Let's go to the update and let's punch in our move input and our move input will equal the input dot get axis horizontal. So left or right or A and D. We're going to use the move input value and multiply it by our move speed along a vector two direction. When we're moving left, move input will be minus one. When we're moving right, it will be one. So underneath, let's punch in transform dot translate then in the brackets, vector to right, multiplied by our move input value, multiplied by move speed, multiplied by time dot delta time. That will move our tank. Then we want to clamp the position of our movement. So underneath, punch in transform dot position equals a new vector two inside the first set of brackets, the axis we want to clamp the position on, that being the X, therefore mathf.clamp inside some smaller brackets, the transform.position.x, clamp it by the minimum position and the max position. Of course, we don't want to affect the position on the Y, therefore we can leave that as transform.position.y. And there we go. That's all we need for now. Hit save and let's head back into Unity. Now we're ready to punch in the values in the inspector. For move speed, I think a value of three will do just fine. And for the min position and max position, to find out that value, let's select the player. Let's scroll up so we can see the values in the transform. Hold down control and drag it to the right as far as you can closest to the screen. That's okay, but there's still a little bit of a gap. So I'm gonna add to that. I'm gonna say 6.25. There we go, that looks okay to me. This will be my max value. My minimum value will be the negative version of this value, just like so. And as you can see, the player is at an equal position on the left. So let me place that back to zero and let's punch in this value. So minimum position minus 6.25 and the max position, the positive 6.25. There we go. Let's go ahead and press play. Now, with our directional inputs, we should be able to move left and right. There we go. Let's go to the right. And you can see we are now stopped. That's our max position there. Let's go all the way to the left. Make sure our min position works. There we go. So the player can now move freely between those two values. Happy days. And that's all we need for now. Thank you all very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate you joining me today. In the next video, we will look at our invader movement. So take a short coffee break and I'll see you right back here soon. Take care.